Hello all my friends, welcome back to the Branscom YouTube channel. I am Nick Branscom and today we've got episode number two of Branscom's Burning Takes. I really hope you guys enjoyed episode one. That was a lot of fun. So this week's episode comes to you from Lucas Fowler, uh, awesome, awesome guitar player that I've known for years. He's a really good friend and he has his own YouTube channel, which is pretty popular amongst uh, musicians and things of that nature. So go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. But today's topic, like I said, is on video games. Now I want to put a disclaimer that I'm not a big gamer um, anymore, but I used to be when I was a kid. So I think I have some pretty strong and semi-controversial opinions on video games. So let's get right into it. My uh, first one for video games is that Tomb Raider was the absolute best game ever. And I'm talking about the original Tomb Raider, 1996, PlayStation 1. That game changed my life, basically. I've played it ever since I was a little kid, and I still play it to this day. And Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3 are good, too. I've played uh, some of the ones beyond those three, but those first three are the greatest ones, but you can't beat the first one. Even though the second one's really good, too, the first one was just the coolest. It had the cool environments, uh, 3D gaming, which was kind of still new at the time, um, and uh, just an all-around classic game. So Tomb Raider, best game. So for number two, I'm going to say that vintage video games are better than newer video games. And I say that in a sense of, I think that vintage video games are just more fun. You know, they're more cartoony and, you know, they're, the newer video games today just to me are way too realistic. Um, it's almost like watching a movie and I don't necessarily like that. You know, like I want, when I'm playing a video game, I want to play with a character like a Crash Bandicoot or a Mario or something like that that's like more in kind of a fantasy sort of realm of uh, you know non-realistic environments and stuff like that with with newer games the graphics are just so good and everything's like really realistic and all that and I just I think that kind of sucks the fun out of it for me that takes the fun out of video games for me but there are some newer games I'm not saying all newer games are bad or anything like that there are some fun newer games but I really just think that vintage video games have a certain charm about them that newer video games can't replicate All right, so number three, the PlayStation 2 best console. And I'm gonna sit here and say that I've not owned every console known to man. I, you know, I haven't played every single console known to man, but I've owned quite a few of them. But the PlayStation 2 was the console where I had many late nights staying up late playing Madden 2005, uh, Tiger Woods Golf, NASCAR Thunder 2003, a lot of sports games, oddly. SSX Tricky. Yeah, the PlayStation 2 was just awesome. It had some of the coolest games on it. I think PlayStation 1 may have had some more of the iconic games, I feel like, but PlayStation 2 just had like a plethora of awesome games you could play. And I remember getting a PlayStation 2 for my seventh birthday, I believe. Um, my dad even told me that in the box, it wasn't a PlayStation, it was like a pair of pants or something like that. Of course, I didn't believe him. Thanks, Dad. But uh, yeah, the PlayStation 2, I still own one to this day. I don't think you can beat it. All right, so number four on this list is that the Dreamcast was underrated. Now, I had a Dreamcast when I was a kid. My father, my parents got me one, and I played it all the time. I can't tell you how many times I played Sonic. I believe it was Sonic Adventure or Sonic Advance. I can't remember exactly, but it was one of the Sonic games and on Dreamcast, and it was so much fun. I didn't even have a memory card for the Dreamcast when I had it, so I would just always, every day, I would start the game over and just try to get uh, through it as far as I could. But uh, some other awesome games on the Dreamcast was like Soul Calibur, uh, Virtua Tennis, I believe it was called. Um, just some really fun games on that. And I think the Dreamcast just kind of uh, suffered from being released around, around the same time that the PlayStation 2 was being released. I think the Dreamcast came out in 98 and the PlayStation 2 came out in 2000. So it gets a bad rap for being a bad console, but really, and it was Sega's last console, um, unfortunately, as far as I know, but, uh, but the Dreamcast was not a bad console by any stretch of the imagination, I don't think. I always had fun playing it. I thought graphically everything looked pretty cool. Um, so Dreamcast doesn't deserve the hate that it gets. Okay, and last but not least, there's always this debate as to whether or not video games actually require talent to be good at. You know, they have all these video game competitions and uh, stuff like that um, around the world, and you know, people go to them and, and win money and, and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little on the fence. I mean, 
you know, I, I guess it does require you to have hand-eye coordination and, um, you know, it, it teaches you, it, I don't know, <laughs> it teaches you to use your hands better, I guess. I mean, there are video games that I've played before that I've tried to play for a long period of time and just never got any good at. Like, I mean, it does take skill to get good at a video game, you know, um, whether or not people think that's a, a useless kind of skill is up for debate, I guess. But, um, but video games, I do think, require some skill, some level of talent. And, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty impressed when I watch somebody like playing Call of Duty or something like that and they're just, you know, sniping guys left and right or, you know, um, stabbing dudes uh, at will, you know, without, it, without even having to think about it. You know, I used to play Call of Duty Black Ops a lot and, you know, I was never ever as good as a lot of my peers that would play it. So, um, so I give, you know, I give gamers uh, credit there where credit is due. It does take skill to get good at a video game and it obviously can help you in life if it helps you win money at competitions and stuff like that so so i would say that video games do require some level of skill all right well thank you guys so much for checking out episode two of branscombe's burning takes i hope you enjoyed it and if you are continuing to like this content please hit the subscribe button if you have not already i've got more of these episodes coming out comment down below and let me know what topics you would like me to discuss here on the channel i've also got more music content coming up so if you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and comment on this video that will help out the channel tremendously so thank you guys so much i'll see you at the next video take care